Bonjour et bienvenue sur ma chaîne. Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Cindy. In this lesson, you learn how to talk about the recent past in French. So first things first, what is the recent past? The recent past is what you use when you want to talk about something that you or someone else has just done or accomplished or when you want to talk about something that has just happened. In other words, whenever you use have just followed by a past participle, you're using the recent past in English. And in this video, what we're going to learn is how to get the same meaning across in French. Depending on the context, the recent past can either mean you've done something a few seconds or minutes ago or a few days ago. For example, if you say, I've just finished my homework, you're referring to a few seconds or minutes ago. But if you're saying, I've just got married, then you're referring to a few days or even weeks ago. To talk about the recent past in French, you need to use the verb venir in the present tense, followed by the preposition de, followed by the infinitive of the main verb. And this would carry the same meaning as saying have just, followed by a past participle in English. If you wanted to emphasize the fact that you've just done something, you could either add the word juste or the words tout juste between the verb venir and the preposition de. And of course, venir would still be conjugated in the present tense. Adding juste or tout juste would have the same meaning as saying I've only just. So to talk about the recent past in French, you can either use venir de, venir juste de, or venir tout juste de, with venir conjugated in the present tense, and the structure followed by the main verb in the infinitive, like so. Je viens de, repeat, je viens de, I have just, tu viens de, tu viens de, you have just, il vient de, il vient de, elle vient de, elle vient de, on vient de, repeat, on vient de, nous venons de, nous venons de, vous venez de, vous venez de, You have just, ils viennent de, ils viennent de, elles viennent de, again, elles viennent de, they have just. It's important that you're aware that the structure venir in the present tense followed by de only means have just if it's followed by a verb in the infinitive. Because, as you probably already know, if it's followed by a noun, such as a country, for example, then it means to come from and not to have just. So let's have a look at a few examples. If you wanted to say, they've just got married, how would you say that in French? I'll give you five seconds. They've just got married. You would say, ils viennent de se marier. Ils viennent de se marier. If you wanted to emphasize that them getting married is very recent, you could add tout juste. Ils viennent tout juste de se marier. They've only just got married. If you wanted to say, I've just told you, you would say, je viens de te le dire. Je viens de te le dire. And if you wanted to emphasize that you've only just told something, you could add juste. Je viens juste de te le dire. Juste and Tout juste are pretty much interchangeable. The difference in meaning between them is minute. Let's have a look at a couple more examples. Nous venons d'arriver. We've just arrived. Nous venons d'arriver. Or, nous venons tout juste d'arriver. We've only just arrived. Now, how would you say, he's only just finished his homework? He's only just finished his homework. You would say, il vient juste de finir ses devoirs. Il vient juste de finir ses devoirs. Of course, if you said, 
to just instead of just, it would also work. It's also worth noting that you can use the recent past structure in the past if you want to say had just followed by past participle. If you want to say had just followed by past participle, in French you will need to use the verb venir in the imperfect tense followed by the preposition de and then followed by the infinitive of the main verb. For example, je venais de m'endormir quand mon réveil a sonné. Je venais de m'endormir quand mon réveil a sonné. I had just fallen asleep when my alarm went off. I hope you found this lesson useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it. And if you still have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask in the comments. That's what the comments are for. If you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. I upload new videos regularly. And if you'd like to follow me on social media, all the links are in the description. Thanks for watching. Bye.